Okay, it's now 9.14, September 5th. As you can see, now there's one sprinkler there. A sprinkler there in this tree. Then there's another sprinkler in this tree. Then there's yet another sprinkler right here. All watering broad daylight saturating the lawn. This is our biggest concern. Every time we try and mow it, something happens. It's 9-15 September 5th and still for over 15 minutes just in this one section these sprinklers have been going off. Now it's saturating here, 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 and there. And you can clearly see it's just ridiculous and the more sprayers that go off at once the less pressure there is to spray around as you can see this is fully covering all over the place and just yeah, it's just going to do so much damage to the lawn just so this is documented though again it's September 5th 9.16 a.m. sprinklers are still flooding the lawn now in broad daylight, as you can see, it's already ruined and barbecued where it's been spraying. So this is just proof of what we've been saying. That we have no control over the sprinklers and the time goes off um, when they wish. Basically, we can go out if they would show us and there's a little switch right there on the timer and everything. We could set it so we can mow around it and the grass can be maintained but this looks like it is pretty on purpose now since they gave us a schedule after one court date that said it was in the mornings not this late even close it's well over two hours past when they said this lawn would be mowed we don't even have a notice that it would change or anything it's now 917 And it is clearly the 5th of September, 2010. As you can see, in the wall clock, 917. Yet still, water being sprayed. Just absolutely ridiculous, because you can see all the burn marks from it.